I'm really excited to show you guys this thing. About six months ago, I did a video called Good Things You Can Find in Treadmills. And in that video, we talked about a motor that we had stripped out of a treadmill, and also at the end, I teased this. This thing is the base from an old Singer sewing machine, which, if you recall, has a treadle that you go up and down with your feet, and then that spins a flywheel, and then that flywheel spins the mechanism of the sewing machine. Well, I didn't buy the sewing machine, I just bought the treadle, but I have so many ideas for what to do with this thing, and I'm really excited to show you. This is a spinning wheel. This isn't the first spinning wheel I ever made. The first spinning wheel I ever made was made out of a single jar of peanut butter and an old knitting needle, and some double-sided tape and a ruler. But uh, that one was what's called a quill wheel, meaning you get a pointy quill, and you get it spinning really fast, and this is the type of spinning wheel that Sleeping Beauty would have pricked her finger on. There's not really a whole lot of stuff to prick your finger on on one of these. And the thing that makes this thing cool is that it's able to twist the yarn, because the, the steps for making yarn are pretty simple. You have the fluffy stuff, you stretch it, this is called drafting, you twist it, and that makes a string, and you're like, good, I got some string, now what do I do with it? And you gotta wrap it around a spindle, such as the pen, and then you manually wrap it on. And so there's the twisting phase, where you're spinning the stuff, and then there's the wrapping it on phase. What this thing does, is it does both at the same time, and here's how. This is the magic. So this is a, an Irish-style tension spinning wheel, but the thing that makes it work is this thing is called the flyer, and it spins. Now, on the same shaft, but spinning independently, is the bobbin. And the bobbin can spin by itself without the flyer spinning, and the flyer can spin by itself without the bobbin spinning. There's a shaft that runs through the middle of this hollow tube in the bobbin, and that's the way that works. And the reason why this is important is because if there is a slight difference in the speed going the same direction, if the bobbin is spinning and then the flyer is spinning at a slightly different speed, then there will be a pulling action that pulls the string onto the bobbin. This thing will be relative to the other one spinning and winding itself on. For this video, what we're going to do is demonstrate the wheel in operation and just show how marvelously cool it is and geek out about it. In a second video that's going to come out shortly, we're going to show you how we made it. And it'll give a little bit more detail about how it works. Because really there's some pretty cool stuff here. There's a string here. The string is running down to the bobbin. It's tied on. Now it goes up to the hooks on the flyer. So now they're connected. They're connected. If I spin the bobbin, it will force the flyer to spin as well. Because it's getting drug around by being pulled by that string. And that's what connects them. But there's some resistance, and so it, 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 it lollygags. It slows it down. So now I've got my string, and it's sticking out of this end. And I'm going to attach it to some of this wool that I've got here. I get the thing treadling. It's going. It's now adding twist here. As the flyer spins, that's twisting this string. And I'm going to let the twist run down into the string that I'm holding, the fluff that I'm holding. And now I'm going to pull it. Now, if I let it go, it will pull itself right on. Come on. Come on, you. So I'm drafting and then letting it go into the machine. It's working! <laughs> so this is the string we just made in that few seconds of treadling. And I'm going to make it go backwards and just show you how much it made. It made and wound on all this string. And then, when you're finished, all you have to do is lift this out, and then boom! There's a bobbin of string. And it's that easy. So, then to get it back together, I just put the belt, which at this point is a piece of yarn. And then I shove this through here. That spike goes into the hole here. And then it rests in that little fork. And Bob's your uncle. There you are. One other point about the machine that I need to stress because it's really cool is the fact that right now this whole spinning wheel, like the part that actually makes it a spinning wheel for spinning wool, called the flyer assembly, is a piece that I can remove. You see all these little wing nuts? If I turn these little wing nuts, then boom, I can remove that. And I have other ideas for things I could power with this thing, among which a potter's wheel and a threshing machine. If you have any ideas for machines that should be powered by a treadle like this and just kind of bolt it onto this table, set a, an idea in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. If you're new to the channel, we like to make things from scratch and to understand what is implied by stuff. 
this thing implies stuff about technology and about spinning and about all kinds of things, and it's cool. And it's part of another project which we're working on. I want to make a shirt 100% from scratch, and this is going to help me do it.